Good morning, everybody. Uh, Dr. Rick Wallace checking in this morning, morning um, inspiration. Just want to stop by and drop a little something uh, that will hopefully provide you with some insight, encourage you, um, maybe energize you, give you uh, a little push in moving forward. Uh, the one thing I can tell you is that uh, when, when I observe people who come to me uh, for help or when I observe people who are somewhere near uh, the central area of my periphery, my inner circle, and those that are related to those people in my in inner circle, and I start to really examine and anatomize the causality um, associated with the failure to move forward or the inability or resistance to step out and act really actually go after life to actualize potential to stand up to move out and to do things that are exceptional extraordinary phenomenal all within the capacity of every individual on this planet when you find your right state when you find your right frame of mind when you begin to focus and apply yourself there's nothing that can be withheld from you but what i find one of the central causes of this failure is the need of approval uh people seeking the approbation of others the validation of others asking um, as if they're asking for permission to be great let me explain something to you you don't need permission to be great. The demand for greatness is in your design. When the cre creator of the universe create, designed and created you, you were designed for greatness. You were designed to have a massive impact. You were designed to produce phenomenal results. You were designed to be a representation of the creator. You were designed to step out and do beyond what would be considered normal and average in order to make an impact, in order to leave a legacy, in order to make uh, be a part of change, advancement, progression, and empowerment. You don't need permission to be great. Your design and destiny actually requires it of you. It is a responsibility. Being exceptional is a responsibility of yours. Being a phenomenal is a responsibility of yours. You don't need anyone to give you permission. We live in a society where everybody wants to be liked. We live in a society where everybody has a need to be popular. We live in a society where people would rather be liked than to advance, than to rise, than to be exceptional, than to be successful. It's more important to fit in for people than it is to rise up and be who they are. So let me explain something to you. And, and, and this is going to be a quick one, and I'm going to be off here this morning. In your design is the expression of your destiny, who you are. Your design is indicative of your purpose. When you discover your purpose, as it is associated with your identity, you ignite a passion within that's within you. And a lot of us have quenched and suppressed that passion because we haven't been validated by those we seek validation from. We haven't been approved and given permission by those we seek approbation from. So we have decided to shrink back into what is normal, shrink back into what is comfortable, shrink back into what is considered acceptable and realistic. We have decided to stop dreaming. We have decided to stop standing and fighting and aspiring. And we just simply exist within the vacuum of exception, uh, not exception, of being accepted. There's no, no reward in being accepted. There's no legacy in being accepted. You don't need permission to be phenomenal, to be great, to be exceptional, to be extraordinary. It's in your design. It's literally demanding that you be 
great, phenomenal, and exceptional. Stop looking outside of yourself for validation. Stop looking outside of yourself for someone to tell you that it's okay to step out and go after your dreams and go after your aspirations and to live an exceptional and phenomenal life. You owe it to your creator, your designer. You owe it to your children. You owe it to your community. You owe it to every person in your periphery because they are looking at you. And every, t every person, when you stand up and decide that you're going to step out and be phenomenal, when you decide that you're going to step out, step up and be exceptional. You are literally by your own actions giving others permission to do the same thing. You're giving others the permission to stand up and be exceptional. Be the model. Be the inspiration. Stop waiting on people who are lost to give you the permission to be great. Great people don't go to average people and ask for permission to be great. They simply step out and become. I'm inviting you to become. That's something awesome in becoming. That's something powerful in becoming. There's something inspirational in becoming. There's something joyous in becoming. There's something that makes you feel fulfilled when you see and experience becoming the book, the progress towards your destiny. That's it this morning. It's just that I hate to see so many people feel that somebody else has to give them permission to be the optimal rep, rep the optimal representation of their design, their uh, optimal expression of their potential. No one needs to give you permission to do that. It is a requirement <laughs> of your design to be great. That's it. As I always say, I'm going to die. I'm going to die on E. I'm going to give this world everything. Um, the first time I ever heard this expression was by Miles Monroe, but Les Alexander, I mean, uh, Les uh, Brown uses it a lot. Um, uh, but Miles Monroe said years ago that the wealthiest place on the planet is the cemetery because there you'll find unfulfilled dreams, books unwritten, um, uh, inventions that were never entertained, uh, aspirations that were never pursued. I mean, just so many different things. The cemetery has this, 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 this history of just swallowing the unfulfilled dreams of people because people out of fear, out of procrastination, out of a need of acceptance and approval, all of these things, people sit up and sit on them. Not me. I'm going to die on E. And, and I invite you to do the same thing. Live life on full so that you can die on E. I love you guys. I'm out of here. Peace.